Good afternoon. Um, since the developments, recent developments in the internet have kind of uh, propelled the way we use it forward. It's now all about social interactions and getting together. And social media is all about that. And as we're jumping on board, so are the brands. It sees this as an opportunity for us to connect or for them to connect with us. So Twitter is one of these platforms and that's the one I'm looking at. Earlier this year, Twitter uh, reported profits of about $250 billion, uh, $250 million, sorry. And 80% of that come from advertising. So that's big money. My research looks at the connections we have and we make with brands we follow. How close they feel to us and how far away they feel. So I follow, as you can see, Nike, I follow Mavita, and some of these feel really close and friends to me, while some of them feel distant and cold. We're using this to understand that how we develop that sense of connection, how we've developed that sense of closeness. So we're looking at interviews and collecting data to try and understand what's happening. And really, we've identified a few factors. We feel more connected to brands that post information that's relevant and interesting to us. Once we have that connection and we start to feel that development, we may interact and act in three different ways, helping the brand, co-creating value for both of us. When we do that, we can post our own posts, which the brand can use to retweet to their, their followers, sending out and evoking senses of nostalgia. We can answer their questions and give them help. We can solve problems for them. And we can also retweet the brand's messages out to our followers, helping share their information. But what we didn't expect was a key factor that may limit our ability and want to interact. That is the perceived brand size. So brand size can be measured in a number of factors. The number of followers the brand has, how much we think they have, they spend in marketing, and how local or close to us they are. These factors may influence whether we help them or we don't. We might see a big brand and go, no, our voice isn't going to get heard. They have lots of money to spend, so we won't listen to them. Whereas we might have a smaller brand, a close brand close to us, a local brand, where we nurture them and help them. And that's my research. This is going to help brands of all shapes and sizes and work out how they can address and develop their connections. Thank you.